So I'm Kim Stegmeyer. I'm a pediatric oncologist and physician scientist at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston Children's Hospital. I'm David Malkin, and I'm affiliated with the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto and the University of Toronto. Crystal Makel from Stanford University School of Medicine. It's absolutely critical to hold a conference focused on pediatric cancer, one sponsored by ACR at this time. First, it's actually a rare opportunity to get researchers in pediatric oncology from diverse backgrounds together in one room to discuss some of the most critical issues that are active in the field. Two, it's such an exciting time right now in pediatric oncology research. And this, to me, we're perfectly poised to actually bring folks together to discuss some of these issues. There are a lot of new technologies that are having a real impact on the field, from the ability to actually sequence genomes in real time in patients and to act on that data clinically, to technologies to now look at single cells and profile those cells, to actually looking at cell-free DNA and incorporating that type of approach in the clinical care of patients. So I think from a technology perspective, the time is right. Pediatric cancer medicine is, as you might imagine, quite diverse. As pediatric oncologists, we need to really address the full gamut of uh, cancer medicine from uh, predisposition, why do some kids get cancer uh, and others don't. It's quite a rare disease in childhood to molecularly targeted therapy, to immunotherapies, to the very challenging but important problem of survivorship. While we are fortunate to be able to cure overall about 84% of children with cancer, uh, about 70% of childhood cancer survivors go on through their adult lifetime to develop uh, some form of late effects of that treatment. So unless we have a meeting that brings together those experts from those varied fields, such as this one, it may be that we're never in a room together learning about all of the advances and the challenges uh, that remain in these areas. So there are a number of uh, key areas of focus of this meeting. One is on germline predisposition. So many years ago, we thought that it was actually quite rare that a child who developed cancer had an inherited predisposition. Now we know that it's at least 10%, and that number is going to continue to grow, I would predict, as we learn more about what the genes are that predispose individuals to cancer. So that's one big area of focus. Some of the sessions will focus on bringing these new technologies to childhood cancer. Another area of breakthrough is going to be in the discussion of new approaches in immuno-oncology, new potential targets, and new ideas in that field. CAR T-cells has shown great promise in leukemias and the wet blood cancers, and there's now a lot going on to try to see, can we manipulate these cells in such a way to make them effective in the solid tumors? And that's an area that I think will be a great opening and expanse that we're, we're gonna hear about. It is really exciting to be able to put together a conference with my co-chairs, Dr. Stefan Pfister, Dr. Kim Stegmeyer, and Dr. David Malkin. We've brought together this international group of esteemed researchers in cancer medicine that really is able to give us a broad overview of the state of the field. I think this pediatric ACR meeting is a fantastic opportunity for young investigators. It allows us to really all get together to hear about the latest science, to bridge new collaborations, to mentor our junior investigators, and that is invaluable in making progress in the field. We've designed the program in such a way that there's going to be a, a great opportunity for um, young investigators who are presenting their uh, data to have a uh, almost like a speed dating uh, opportunity where they're going to present uh, sort of one minute, one slide uh, highlight of their, of their poster and then everybody can go and see the poster. So there's going to be an excitement around that and I think we're going to take advantage of it. It's really important that we continue to keep our eye on the prize. It's not just about understanding. It's about making new therapies based upon the understanding. And that's what the focus certainly of this special conference will be. How do we turn these insights, these understandings into therapies?